Good morning, everyone. I think I'm going to put an exclamation point on the uh, items that Matthew just mentioned. Because, you know, here in Virginia, we have many national rankings of which we're proud. We're first in this, and we're second in that, and so on. But there's one distinction that we have that we don't pay a lot of attention to. And that is that in the urban crescent, on the northern end where I live, we have the third worst commute in the country. Swing down to the southern end of the crescent in Virginia Beach and you have the 18th worst commute. Is there any wonder then that people in the state have made it clear that they want a transportation resolution this year? No more delays, no more discussion. They want a solution. And they want a solution regardless of who gets the credit. Whether it's the governor, the General Assembly, the Republicans, or the Democrats. The message I'm getting from my constituents is solve the problem. Stop the legislative grid gridlock that keeps commuters sitting in traffic gridlock. There are numerous proposals for us. You've heard those discussed already. Um, Delegate Watts and Delegate James pointed out some of the specifics. They each have their strength and their shortcomings. But it's clear that no individual or political party has a single silver, silver, silver bullet that will fix all of our Commonwealth transportation challenges. Meaningful reform means that we must identify common ground and craft a bill that incorporates the best of all proposals. Adequate, dedicated funding for transportation. What we're saying today is that Democrats are ready to draw upon the strengths of the several bills and proposals that have been introduced by both Democrats and Republicans. Measures such as you have heard discussed this morning that have broad-based appeal should be brought together in a new solution. We can craft a bill that will ensure that people who make minimal use of the transportation system will not be burdened with its cost. And we can do that without robbing other programs. Forgive the pun, but the roadway forward is clear. <laughs> we must take the best possible ideas from both sides of the aisle, and you've heard several of us say this, and this is our message today, and put them together to make the best possible transportation bill for our citizens. The benefit of this long-range solution will go to the citizens who have insisted that it be solved. They will be pleased that provisions are incorporated into the solution regardless of their origin or their supporter. All will get credit. We will have a win-win situation. That ought to be the Virginia way. I look forward to working with my Democratic and Republican colleagues and finally moving forward on resolving this problem that has been with us so long and solve it in a way that can be judged fair, comprehensive, long-term, and sustainable. Thank you.